Hello, user testing community. It's Mike McDowell once again from the solutions consulting team here at user testing back with another tip of the week. Now today I want to talk to you all about the best thing you can possibly do to change your mindset, to change your culture, to get you on the road towards being a truly customer centric organization. And it's going to seem a little self-serving, but uh, I didn't write it and I didn't publish it. Um, so today I want to talk to you about, you can see it over here on the side. Uh, it is user tested the new book from uh, user testing chief insights officer, Janelle Estes and CEO, Andy McMillan. Uh, this book really is a fantastic read. And if you are in any way, shape or form, newer to uh, customer testing, customer feedback, even if you're really experienced in the process of executing on customer research, this book is really fantastic. It's an easy read. It will give you great tips on you know, the types of tests you should be running, the ways you could be integrating customer feedback into your organization, the types of methodologies you should be doing if you're maybe a marketer or a product developer. There's different things you should be doing depending on the type of team you're in and the type of insights you're gathering for a particular type of project. And yes, there's a lot of overlap, but there are some uniqueness, uh, unique elements to each type of thing. So just I'm doing this at complete random to sort of prove a point. I've got the book in my hand. I'm going to flip it open to a random page and I'm just going to pull out something random for you. So right here. So I'm on page 112, chapter seven. It's sort of right in the middle. You can see it's about product development and it's building the solution right. Uh, this is a stage where most companies do user testing, even if they've skipped it at previous stages. Uh, so this is talking about what people are doing today and commonly. And then over here, it's got another headline that says, a recommended approach, review multiple concepts or ideas with potential customers. So instead of going to, you've picked a solution and you wanna build it right, we're going to actually figure out what is the right solution by testing multiple concepts very early on. So that's just one page. I mean, I picked this up at random and pulled it open. Um, the other thing I'm actually going to show this to you, take a look at that. Do you, you know what that is? That is a readable font size. Uh, for me, you can tell I wear these reading glasses. I don't wear glasses normally, but one of the things and I posted about it on my LinkedIn, uh, when I first got the book, um, it blew my mind that, uh, that, it shouldn't have because it's a book from user testing, but that the font size of a book could be easily read even with glasses. A lot of times these font, uh, the fonts are printed so small, they're trying to maximize the amount of words per page. The fact that I could read this without straining was a huge hint, a uh, huge help. So uh, again, seems a little self-serving because it's a book published by the leadership at user testing, but I truly do believe I read this in uh, only a couple of sittings. It was a fantastic book really even gave me some tips on things that I could be doing a little bit differently as I recommend, you know, the, uh, the best ways to use a platform to you guys every week. So uh, go out, grab user tested from, you know, whatever local bookstore or uh, online retailer you can. It's a great read. I'm not sure it's going to make the best Mother's Day gift, but um, if your mother happens to be a user researcher or maybe, a, you know, leadership in marketing or product development, I'd say go for it. So until next time, this has been Mike McDowell. Uh, I'll see you again in seven days with another tip of the week.